bet on a UFC fight, but I don't know if you if you haven't, then you wouldn't know this. But the way it works, you know, in a lot of gambling halls, you would imagine, well, if I show up, it's four to one odds, and I put fifty grand down, I got fifty grand at four to one. It doesn't work that way. If, if you go to bet at a sports book in Vegas on a UFC fight, this isn't the same for for everything, but for UFC because there's not enough money coming in, you can only bet X amount at a time. Then they reset the line, and then you got to bet mm. it again. I like, went in well, a bet on the number. Well, I bet on Henderson when he fought Vandalay. Now, this was a number of years. I think 2006 could have been 2007, and it, they only let me bet 500. Henderson oh. was a three to one underdog, so I go 500, 500, 500, and I, you know, I got to my three thousand dollar limit, and I had to go to three different casinos. Now, I'm quite sure with the influx of the sport that it, it'd be closer to ten thousand, but I'm quite sure it's not over. 10, how, how confident were you though? That's pretty fucking badass. Just yeah. keep going to casino after casino. I felt good. That Henderson's it was win. good, you know, and and you know that's when Van. I mean, nobody could beat Vandal. He yeah. had that reputation like Mike Tyson was yeah. was hanging on to for a while, you know. But you're talking about Dan Henderson. You're talking about one of the baddest dudes to ever live. He's a fucking tank. He's something else, man. And, and I knew it was going to be a good fight too. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be a walk in the park, but uh, you got to bet on your guy. 